it's now some six months, roughly, since the since the the mothballing, um, and I found out recently that the mothballing it was called that because it allows chorus then to just sit on the land and not do anything with it. The um, as long as it's called mothball and then they can just they don't have to demolish it they don't have to um, clean it up it just uh, it just sits there and it just rots because it's never ever gonna be it's never ever gonna be um, opened again despite all the uh, all the promises and the the attempts I honestly can't ever see that opening. As you can see, there's plenty of taxis sat here all waiting for jobs. So we just take our turn in the queue. Hey, young Gary. Don't be frightened of the camera. Are you on telly, son? Oh, we're on telly, lad. <laughs> There you, I could make you, you an in, I could make you an international they star. They wanted to listen to your patter, didn't they? They, they, they wanted your patter. <laughs> uh, Three star famine on taxis. Mm. I would say most of us put in that many, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Fifty-five to sixty hours would be an, a normal week for a taxi driver. Uh, today I, I didn't start till about nine a.m. Um, I probably won't finish till about midnight. My partner's um, she's she's quite used to it now. Obviously, she'd like me at home a lot more than than I am, but um, she's got used to it. It's not just people that are at chorus that are, are affected by it. It's everybody. A, a few friends that work there. Claiming dull, you know, it's shocking. There's nothing local, so it means they've got to go away from the families to find work and jobs. And people can't afford to be buying things now, so your, your retailers are suffering, which is why all the shops in the T High Street are shut now as well. I think the fact that it's so varied, you get all these lovely people in the cars, and even the bad ones, I even enjoy them. And although there are much better paid jobs, I still like doing this. My dad um, works for Chorus and he's quite, he was on one hand a little bit good because he just misses the uh, redundancy. redundancy age. They put it up again, but it is it's obviously had a massive effect because it does create jobs for practically the whole of North East. He was all right with his job where he works. The part where he works, he still managed to keep his job. Yeah. A lot of his friends lost their jobs. It's cheaper to make it all over there, they get more profit. If they're paying their workers less money for the same price we pay for it. They're not silly. I do like I do like sunsets, I think they're marvellous. I think one of the most amazing ones I've ever watched was in Egypt. And it took 11 minutes for the sun to set. You stand at the water's edge there, and we, we are just a, an absolute dot on that sea. We are a dot. Ten cars in the town and one job within 15 minutes. It's like pawn teeth. Very painful. Very painful.
they want the subsidies on the carbon emissions due to, and they want they also the fact that Tata have also produced two uh, furnaces over in India to produce the steel at a cheaper rate but it won't be the standard and the quality that they have uh, that they get in over here it used to be a fantastic town absolutely fantastic it's just going to become a big a big a big house in the state with nothing in it I'm a 32 year old gentleman who has never voted in my life and for the first time in my 32 years I'm, I'm, I'm actually set getting to the point where I'm thinking yeah I might actually vote I don't think the the real effects have, have been felt at all yet I think in another six to twelve months from now we might have a better idea of how it's going to affect the town and not only the town but the surrounding area, local business. I think we will suffer and I think we will suffer quite badly. However, I also believe that the town will recover. I don't know to what strength but I honestly believe we will recover. But on that one time will tell. <laughs>